Factors Data is pleased to present antibiogram data for bacteria and yeast. This antibiogram data serves to aid in clinical decision making and evaluates antimicrobial resistance trends. Antibiograms provide data which serves to minimize resistance, toxicity, and adverse drug reactions. There are two antibiograms, one for bacteria and one for yeast. This data was collected during 2022 and comprises 10,000 samples. The data includes prescriptive and natural agents as applied to bacteria and yeast. The data is represented as a percentage of all samples tested that were susceptible to that agent. As you will see here, the bacteria antibiogram represents 14 bacteria with prescriptive agents as percentage susceptible and natural agents as percentage highly sensitive. You can look at individualized organisms that may be cultured in your patient's report, as well as take note of antimicrobial resistance trends. As you will see, each organism has a unique profile. As you will see here, the organisms are listed in order, starting with Aeromonas. With regards to the Aeromonas, ampicillin, you will see 0% of the samples tested were susceptible, whereas 99% of the samples tested were susceptible to ciprofloxin. With regards to the natural agents, for Aeromonas, you will see that 99% of the samples tested were highly sensitive to silver, whereas 24% of the samples tested were sensitive to oregano, and 0% of the samples tested were sensitive to berberine. You will see the data listed for all 14 bacteria. With regards to the yeast antibiogram, there are 30 yeast listed here. Take a look at the very first row with Candida albicans, very common yeast. 100% of the samples tested were susceptible to fluconazole. Now take a look further down at the Candida crucii and you will see that 0% of the samples tested were susceptible to fluconazole. And if you want to take a look at the natural agents tested, for the Candida albicans, you will see that 98% of the samples tested were highly sensitive to caprylic acid, whereas 1% of the samples tested were sensitive to oregano. With regards to the Candida crucii, you will see that 81% of the samples tested were highly sensitive to caprylic acid, whereas 3% of the samples tested were highly sensitive to oregano. This information is helpful with regards to individualized medicine and as well as health outcomes regarding public health as well. The antibiogram data for bacteria and yeast provide clear and reliable information in assisting clinical selection of empiric antimicrobial therapy, and this is associated with improved clinical outcomes. Please visit www.doctorsdata.com to take a look at the antibiograms for yourself. And please sign up for the newsletter to be informed of updates such as this.